Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and um, one of the things I wanted to talk about uh, today is uh, the change in propagation that we're having because we are moving ahead in uh, of course the time of year and um, one of the things that you can see actually visually see is the changes of the uh, day night patterns over the earth as we are less than a month away from equinox which is the time of year where you know day and night will be pretty much equal somewhere around September 22nd or something like that this year uh, this is an interesting part of propagation this is you know we're getting September October are a couple of months that I really enjoy for propagation because the often the gray line that area of you know day and night uh, separating day and night that you see here uh, is um, you know going over certain areas of the world that actually enhances propagation from certain places including uh, it's that time of year where in North America it's often a little easier to hear Asian signals I've noticed in the morning that the fire drakes from uh, in, in the CNR1 jammers from China are actually pretty strong in the 19 meter band around um, 1300 here and so this is a shift in propagation things are changing you'll notice that some signals that you were hearing really well are actually um, maybe getting weaker as the weeks go by now others that were weak this summer will actually get stronger so always tune around every week and especially at this time of year every week will bring changes to this you know, to the propagation characteristics changes to what you hear what you're you're used to listening to um, an example of that is um, yesterday I was listening to WRMI 9395 uh, with uh, Radio Prague Radio Slovakia which is you know a regular listen that I have in the evening around 0200 but the thing is is the days now are getting shorter so we are having more and more of nighttime shifts in propagation and 9395 uh, coupled with the fact that we are in low solar activity has been getting weaker in the past couple of weeks now it's um, you know I've noticed that for example I might hear Radio Prague at 0200 but as we enter 0230 for Radio Slovakia I notice that the signals are weaker and that has to do with the fact that everything is changing there's more darkness so the ionosphere is also shifting uh, so some signals are changing another apparent um, reason and, and, and change uh, my TKBC that a lot of you actually enjoy listening uh, this coming Saturday I believe is uh, shifting its frequency it was on 9925 this summer and now it's shifting it down to 5960 another indication that now there's a lot of darkness pad between you know uh, Germany I believe where the transmitter site is and North America so you know these are shifts that are happening and so you'll see changes in propagation and it's worth it to you know start tuning around and remember that as the days get shorter in the northern hemisphere tu tuning around earlier than what you usually do is also not bad of an idea to uh, you, you might be surprised what you can hear so check it out also um, you know in the southern hemisphere is the other the changes are different they are going into what will be spring but overall it's that time of year where everything is um, I would say that the propagation conditions are kind of the same um, in the southern and northern hemisphere because the days are pretty much equal and so there's no real big change in, in darkness and, and, and daytime path also as the pole is now getting slowly into darkness for many months uh, you will also see changes in propagation that has to do for example I've been hearing 20 meter signals this summer from uh, Europe at night but that is changing because the North Pole is actually getting into darkness slowly now that means 20 meters won't be able to actually cross the pole up to North America so changes propagation so uh, tune around it's interesting and th this is one of the interesting times that I enjoy listening um, because of, of the 
enhanced propagation of many many signals and it changes the shifts in propagation it's a great way to also kind of notice what type of shifting of signals come from you know where do signals come from at this time of year compared to you know midsummer and so on if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thanks for watching